Hello, in this video I am going to show how we translating our synfig training package uh, into different languages. Uh, here I'm going to show you how to how we sync uh, audio with the video. Here we have uh, source files for our training package and uh, in this example I will take a lesson number 5 and uh, to change its convert it into uh, convert the English version into Portuguese version so here we have a English version and uh, I'm going to copy the file and uh, change its language code so we have uh, uh, another version now with Portuguese and uh, well at the moment uh, uh, there should be sound here, but uh, there is no sound if we hit play because uh, you have uh, no files rendered um, by now. So let's render all dependent files and uh, for this purpose we will use our rendering system render chan well I guess I need to explain why we need uh, to render sound in this case uh, the thing is that uh, our sound files are stored here in the sound folder and uh, they are compressed as FLAC format to consume less space but uh, from my experience Blender is not very friendly with flag format so we have to render it into something else and this process is automatic uh, because of our automated rendering system also we use uh, various animated uh, parts that also store it as a source well for example bug animation here maybe it's the right file well maybe I'm not sure well <laughs> something like this and uh, those files also should be rendered to appear correctly in the um, in the video sequence so well we don't need to figure out which files to render we just run our render chan system and uh, tell it to render all dependencies Well, and after some moments, we have well, as you can see, we have a waveform here. Uh, there is still no sound. Well, I guess because it's there are some problems with uh, my output. I guess. Specify the time yes. span you'd like to render. So here we have sound now, but it's an English sound. So, well, the hidden parts are Russian track. Well, we don't need it. Okay. And uh, let's smooth it down. And here we have a. Uh, English audio track and now we need to put a Portuguese audio track here. Our first animation is ready. It's pretty simple. Okay. 
So I've put a source uh, file with Portuguese text here. Uh, it contains all voice recorded at once and uh, I have um, here we have Audacity but I have used Ardour to apply various uh, effects and filters to make the sound uh, better and cleaner Vamos renderizar nossa animação como um arquivo AVI Digite Vácia no campo nome do arquivo uh, well, I'm not going to the um, well to go deeper and uh, uh, exp um, talk about filters I have used it because because I don't really remember and uh, the, in this video I'm going to cover a, di a bit different topic so I'm just going to show how we sync. Uh, the sound and video. So now we need to insert this sound file into Blender but uh, as you probably remember we don't insert flag format so we need to render it first. Let's render and let's render this file. Okay, and uh, you, you can see the rendering file is uh, well, it should appear here. Yes. Here it is. So let's insert it here. Oh, here it is. Okay, and the way uh, let's make waveform visible, it will be easier and let's align the language uh, text to the English version. Sometimes we will need to make something shorter, something longer also I can consult the translation text at TransFX to make my life easier well, let's try it. I don't, I don't know Portuguese, but I do know what this tutorial about, so I can. Uh, I think I will be able to align the text to the video correctly. Okay. As you can see. You will need, if you want to create a version of course in different language, you will need a bit of uh, video editing skills in Blender, which is quite specific. It's pretty simple by now, but hey, that's only the beginning. Now we want to rent. Okay. Uh, here we don't fit it. Nossa primeira animação está pronta. Está bastante simples nesse momento. Mas ei, é apenas o começo. Ok. Let's cut it a little bit. Mas ei, é apenas o começo. Well, here we don't fit into the time, so we can do that and uh, make a bit of shift and stitch here so agora queremos começo well i think you've got an idea how it's done well another one more thing to mention is uh, localization of titles here we have 
a title file. We have to change it to Portuguese version. Let's uh, let's find it. Captions, I guess. And let's create. Uh, here we have an English file, and let's create a Portuguese version. Also, we need to copy configuration to make sure the file is rendered correctly and uh, let's copy the translated string and insert it here and uh, here we still have a English version so we need to render the, our new file first Okay. The file is located in captions directory, so the rendering will be in render captions subdirectory. Here it is. And uh, in Blender, all we need is just to replace the path to the file. Oh, well, it didn't. <coughs> something is wrong. I'm not sure what's going on. It's fine here. It's fine here. Why it, is it still... Oh, well, refresh sequencer, I guess. Okay, it's a blender issue. Okay, uh, well, that's all. Mm, I guess... Uh, You've got an idea how it's done. Well, I'll make a few more. Well, I will work a little bit more on this file. So if you have questions, you still have time to type them in comments. E é disso que esta lição trata. Renderizar. nosso projeto e é disso que esta lição trata. Renderizar é o processo de salvar a animação em um arquivo de vídeo ou uma série de imagens estáticas. Clique on this button. So let's hide the old voice. Click neste botão para abrir o diálogo definições de renderização. Vamos renderizar nossa animação como um arquivo AVI. Digite Vácia no campo nome do arquivo. Digite Vácia no campo nome do arquivo. Adicione uma extensão. Well, I guess uh, that's enough. And, uh, well, that's all. Thank you for your attention, and goodbye.